My research today has really been focused on understanding monsoon systems. Monsoons bring a large amount of rainfall to tropical locations and are really important because that's where most people live. So understanding monsoon dynamics is really critical to understanding long-term water availability. The Yellow River is at the very northern extent of the East Asian monsoon system. Because of dam building, the, the Yellow River is no longer reaching the ocean, and because of rising temperature and aridity, the kinds of agriculture that people have practiced there for centuries are no longer possible. The desert is extending, and so climate is having a really significant impact. My work focuses a lot on renewable energy policy and energy policy more generally. And so I started working on this about 10 years ago to look at uh, energy policy in Europe, uh, in the US, in Canada, and then gradually, so over time, looking at energy policy elsewhere in the world, in developing countries such as India. I want to work in the future is trying to find out more in terms of how we can combine, um, how, how our societies can adapt to new technologies, how can they make new technologies in a way that people want to use it. As a physician, uh, I have seen many more cases of Lyme disease uh, than I did before. Uh, and again, that's a result of the tick having its life cycle changed because of climate change. As the air quality gets worse, as the atmosphere becomes more allergic, respiratory conditions like asthma are going to get worse. There are better ways to power our ways of life. Uh, we have the technology uh, on our side that's getting better all the time. It's cleaner, it's healthier, uh, it's economically sustainable, uh, and uh, we need to get on it now. A lot of my research in the last few years has surrounded the local and policy issues of oil and gas development. Uh, so especially the recent wave of, of natural gas and oil extraction from shale formations, I've been doing a lot of work to understand what has that meant locally for people, but also what are the policies in place at the state or local level to tax or regulate those activities. We'd rather have um, policies that actually have green effects than policies that really sound green. But we're not doing this just to be able to check off boxes. We want to see if in the aggregate the things that we're concerned about are moving in the right direction. My research is uh based on studying past climate variability on the Andes area in South America, specifically in Peru. It's mostly related to the Atlantic Ocean changes, ocean circulation and wind uh, patterns. So understanding the dynamic of these processes and which were the causes and which are going to be the and which were the consequences might give us ideas of which are the problems that we are going to have to face. As academics, it's really easy for us to feel like we are isolated from the world outside the university, and we're not. We are absolutely part of it, and we're the people, whether we're students who are here for a few years or faculty who are here for our whole careers, we're the people who have the uh, possibility of stepping away from worrying about things day to day and thinking about them as longer-term research questions. Mm -hmm.